Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Isra Automation. And today we are going to talk about what's new in Visual Studio 2019 version 16.5. There have been many releases happened in Visual Studio since 2019 being released, but this version, version 16.5, has got some of the new feature which has been one of the most awaited requests by the community and Microsoft has addressed this. So some of the new features that we are going to be discussing in this particular video or maybe the top four features which I really like the most in Visual Studio or the one that we'll be discussing in this video. So some of the top four features that I'll be discussing in this video are this. Something like IntelliSense support for unimported extension methods. So all these days in order to use an extension method if you don't really import the namespace the extension method will never be displayed for you in Visual Studio. But this time Visual Studio has added support for the unimported extension methods as well. And then simplify interpolations. So now you can see there are many different ways that Visual Studio IDE is going to give you an option to show how to change the code by changing the string interpolation and stuff. So very very easy. We are going to quickly see a demo on that. And then extracting the local function refactoring. There is a way that you can extract the code in Visual Studio just like selecting a code in a method and then you can extract that to another method. But now with the local function of C Sharp you can also extract any line of code within any method and then you can create a local function within that particular method and it will have all those skeleton code for you and it's very very easy to refactor as well. And finally the vertical tabs in IDE. This was one of the most awaited feature which is something being requested by the community for a long time and right now the vertical tabbing in IDE is also available. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm gonna flip to my Visual Studio 2019 IDE. So I'm gonna open my Visual Studio 2019 which I just updated. And I'm gonna open one of the projects which I have been using for my Udemy courses for advanced framework development and stuff. So the first feature is going to be the extension methods we can call without importing the namespaces. I can quickly show you the current behavior of your IDE before the feature is being released. So if I go to any one of the pages, you can see that I have something called as a get link test. So this is basically an extension method. As you can see, there is an extensions prefix on the string in the tooltip bar. So this is basically an extension method. So if I remove this extension from the namespace over here. This is going to show you an error message, something like this. And if I put a dot and if I just try to do get link text, you can see that it won't really appear right now. So this is the current behavior of Visual Studio 2019, even if you don't update that. So in order to use the feature of unimported extension methods, you actually need to go to the options and then you can search for editors. This is nothing but the text editor and then you can go all the way to the C sharp and then in the IntelliSense you have an option called as show items from unimported namespace and this is currently in an experimental stage. So, so basically this is still in experimental stage but it really works like how we really expect. But there are some other extension methods being displayed even if you try to use the extension method within a property which is kind of crazy for now but since it is experimental it is still acceptable. So I'm just going to check this box and I'm going to hit OK. And now if I just try to type the get and you can see that there are many different extension methods are coming in and these are coming from my project. So the get link text comes in here and I have not even imported the namespace as you can see and this is currently working without any problem. So this is the first feature which I was talking about. Very, very handy and very, very useful even if you don't really import a namespace. It's going to be available for you and this is one thing which was something missing in Visual Studio for a pretty long time right now. And the next operation is the simplifying the interpolation. So there have been days that we have been banging our head like how to write the string interpolation with new features is introduced in C Sharp in all these releases. So in order to simplify that Microsoft has even removed the pain for us in terms of how we can perform the string interpolations and the interpolation as a whole. So for instance, if I have a date something like this and if I want to do a string part of the date. So I can do something like this. For instance, if I have a, a scenario something like the date dot two strings of if I want to format this to mmyy or mmdd slash 
y y y and if i also do a pad left of three and a hash something like here something like this and now with visual studios intellisense you can just hit control dot and you can see that it will automatically do the simplify interpolation for us automatically so it also tells me exactly like how i can do this particular pad left and the date dot two string which is completely not required and how i can perform a labeling kind of stuff so this is very very handy and very very easy so i can just do something like this and you can see that my code now changes much much efficiently like how visual studio recommends of writing the interpolation this is also very very cool to see how visual studio can do all those magic for us without we being doing it and the next option is the local function so in order for that i'm just going to go into some of the complex code that i have written something like this and if i want to maybe perform a local function just over here i can hit control dot and you can see it brings me up extract method or extract the local function so i can create a local function something like this and you can see that the local function just comes in and also ask me what method name i need to give so i can just give a looping weight over here for this particular method and you can see that it actually performs for us and you can see it automatically passes all the type the timeouts and the execute and the stopwatch for us in a parameter and it creates a local function for us very very easily within visual studio's latest update so this is one of the most handy and most interesting feature which is introduced in visual studio 2019 and the last option which i'm going to show you is the tabbing feature so within visual studio all these days we have this particular tab of all the codes that we have been writing something like this and it's very very complex to actually manage these tabs or for instance if i open any one of the types something like this the metadata just comes in over here and it's even more confusing where my actual code is sitting so in order for that to eradicate now microsoft has come up in a more intelligent way with a community request like how you can place the tab so for instance if i'm a right hander guy then i can place my tab on the right side or on the left -hand side something like this and you can see all my tabs come in and even more fantastic option in here is you can also see that the class names or the CS files are grouped based on a project so cross-platform EA test has these files and it's been grouped for this particular project the EA auto framework project is actually has these two files been opened and they are grouped something like this this is also very very handy because now I can easily navigate to all these class file name just using their name something like this i can also pin pretty much like how we did earlier with visual studios tabbing feature and also we can do other options so you can just hit this tab options something like that and you can see you can alphabetically sort the tab or most recently open tab first or most recently open the tab last and you can group them if you want and you can also preview the threaded files in a fine result and stuff so these are some of the most interesting options which is released by microsoft in visual studio 2019 version 16.5 these are the top four features which i really like in visual studio because i don't really work on c or xamarin for that matter because there are more new features introduced in xamarin hot reload options and with c there are more new debugging options introduced but i am not really familiar with these two and I don't really use them for my testing and my development purpose. So that's why I have not really talked about them. But surely you should be checking out all those details in Microsoft's release notes for Visual Studio 2019 release version 16.5. So there are many different features available which are also very, very interesting. So please do give a thought about it and see how it actually makes a difference in your development lifecycle. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.